Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application using the ABP framework. So for this video, we'll be going through this documentation with the UI framework as Angular and the database provider as MongoDB. And this is what we're going to be building. We have a very simple to-do list web application right here. And we can type in some things that we want to do. For example, drink some water, stay hydrated, make some coffee, maybe feed the cat. So we can type in and we can get the list and we can also delete from the list. It'll be simple as that and let's get started. Now the first thing I'll do is that I'm going to copy the install command to install the ABP CLI. And I'm going to go ahead and open a terminal and I'm going to paste the command right here. And as you can see, it's already been installed. And I think that's the same with you. And then I'm going to go to the directory of my solutions and I'm going to create a new folder with the same name as our web app to do app. And then I'm going to go to it. And then I'm going to copy the command to create the new solution. So the name is going to be to do app with the UI as Angular and the database provider as MongoDB. And I'll paste it right here. And now since it's opened this page, it means our solution has been created successfully. Let's check it out. And here it is. We have two folders, one for ASP.NET Core and the other ones for Angular. Let's open this one and let's open the solution. And here is our domain driven design solution. And the first thing we'll do is run the DB migrator so we can create the database and see the initial data. And next up, we'll run the HTTP API host so we can take a look at the application before we do anything. It's always good to take a look at the initial web app before we do anything to it. In here, it's opened our Swagger UI and we have all the endpoints right here. We can test them and everything. And since it's running, we can run the Angular client application. I'll go back to the folder and I'm going to open the Angular folder and I'm going to open a terminal right here. And I'll paste this command, npm start. And here is our web app. It's very simple. We have a little administration section right here with identity management for both users and roles. And we also have the tenant management where you can create a whole other tenant that has its own identity management. So you can create a new one or you could just use this one as the administration one with your own identity management for users and roles. And we also have our settings right here. So let's stop running the application and get to work. So the first thing we'll work on is the domain layer. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. We'll create a new class called to do item inside the to do app domain project. I'm going to copy its code from here and I'm going to find the domain project from here and I'll add it right here to do item in your class. And I'm going to paste in the code right here. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root and good is the primary key. Next up is the database integration. We're going to set up MongoDB. We're going to copy this property and we'll paste it in the MongoDB context in the MongoDB project. So let's find it. Here's our MongoDB project. Here's the folder. And here is the DB context. And we'll paste it right here. We're going to put the property right here. Let's import the missing references. And then let's copy the mapping code and paste it in the create model method. This is the method right here and we're going to paste it right here. And by that we've mapped the to do item entity to the to do items table in the database. And next up is the application layer. An application service is used to perform the use cases of the application and we have three, right? We have the getting the list of the to-do items, creating a new to-do item and deleting an existing to-do item. And the first thing we'll work on is the application service interface. We're going to create an I to do app service interface inside the to do app application contracts project. So let's copy the code from here and let's find the application contracts project. And we're going to create the interface right here. And we'll paste in the code right here. So these two methods will be returning a to do item DTO. So let's create this class right here in the same project, the application contracts to do item DTO. And let's copy the DTO class from here. 
and paste it right here. It's just a simple DDO class that matches our entity and now we are ready to implement the interface. The errors are gone. So let's implement the interface by creating the to-do app service class inside the application project. Let's copy its code from here and we'll find the application project and we're going to add the class right here to do app service and we'll paste in the code right here so it inherits from the application service class which is provided by the ABP framework and it's going to help us with these three use cases and it also implements the i to do app service interface so we will implement the methods right here, the three methods. We'll copy the first one, the getting the to-do items, and we'll paste it right here. Next up, we're going to copy the creating a new to-do method, and we'll paste it right here. And last but not least, we're going to copy the deleting a to-do item. And we'll paste it right here. So ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the iRepository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity, and then after injecting it, we've used its methods right here for the getList async, insert async, and for the delete async. So if we check them out, these are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. And now since we've implemented the interface, the app service is ready to be used from the UI. Let's start with the UI. And the first thing we'll find right here is that ABP provides a handy feature to automatically create client-side services to easily consume the HTTP APIs provided by the server. But first, we need to run the HTTP API host project since the proxy generator reads API definitions from the server application. And so, we're going to run it right here. And once it's up and running, we're going to go to the Angular folder and we're going to copy this command. I'll open a terminal and I'm going to paste in the command right here. And we've got a similar output to the documentation. Now the next thing that I'll do is that I'm going to open the to-do app folder in VS Code so that we can use the to-do service to use the server-side HTTP APIs. Now after opening it, I'm going to open Angular, Source, App, Home, and we can find our files right here. The first file is the home component TypeScript. I'm going to copy it and I'll find it right here and I'm going to paste it right here. So we've used the to-do service to get the list of the to-do items and assigned the returning values to the to-do items array and we've also added the create and delete methods and these methods will be used on the view side. And next up I'm going to copy the home component HTML file and I'll find it right here and I'll paste it. And finally, I'm going to copy the home component scss file. And I'll paste it right here. So don't forget to save. Save. And by that, we can run our application again. So npm start. And there you have it right here. We have our very simple to-do list web application. Let's type in something. Drink water. Make coffee feed the cat, blah, blah, blah. So we can type in and we can get the list and we can also delete. Simple as that. And that is how to create a to-do list web application using Angular in MongoDB. See you next time.